Tonight I'm out on a bit of ground which is probably every air gun shooter's dream piece of ground. It's a little small holding, it's not very big, but there's an awful lot of rabbits on here. Now most of these rabbits haven't been shot for probably a couple of years, maybe more. I've shot this ground for a few years and uh, I've shot it purely for foxes. I've just come here a couple of times a year uh, just to control the foxes during the lambing season. But I noticed there was an awful lot of rabbits around, so I spoke to the farmer and he was quite happy for me to come up and thin them out a little bit. It's the perfect job for the air rifle. So this evening I brought with me the Daystate Delta Wolf. Now this is just a 12 foot pound um, 177 uh, little air rifle but pre-charged uh, I think it's about a 12 shot magazine if I remember right. Lovely little gun and what a little tack driver this gun is. You'll see I've got this kitted out with a day night scope. This is the uh, the C50, Pulsar C50. So you've got a nice colored day screen during the day and then it reverts to black and white using an IR for night. So let's get straight out and see if we can find a few rabbits before it gets dark. Okay, so that rabbit was 45 metres. I just gave a little bit of hold over, bang, straight over. What a little tack driver this gun is. So that's the first one in the bag. Excellent. Right, let's go and pick that up. So one dead rabbit, just nerves just twitching a little bit there, but as you can see, that's cleanly uh, shot through the head. So yeah, he didn't know anything about that. Right. Right, so I've got a few rabbits that are starting to come out now. <laughs> There wasn't too many around to begin with. I managed to pick off one up in that next field, but other than that, I haven't seen as many as I thought would around. But however, I've got a few that are just coming out on the edge of this little field here, but they're too far away at the moment. They're about 70 yards, but I have seen one or two that have come out about 30 yards. So I'm just going to wait here for a little bit and see if one of the closer ones comes out. But uh, once it's got properly dark, I'll have a wander around because I think some of the other fields will be a bit more productive. succession uh, they were both about 30 35 meters and um, yeah I shot first one went straight down it was flipping about a little bit and then another one came out of the hedge stopped and was looking at it so I nailed that one as well so I had two there and um, 
although they're still flipping around a little bit they're both clean kills they're both headshots so that's quite normal for them to kick about like that so brilliant another couple down Right, so every time I try to move in on these rabbits, they move further out into the field. So at the moment, as close as I can get to them is between 60 and 70 metres. Um, but I've already like, worked out the drops with this rifle, and I know that two and a half mil dots um, will put me bang on at 60 metres. So I'm uh, fairly confident if I go between two and a half and three, I'm, uh, I'm about you know, I'm about where I need to be. Now, there's a very slight breeze coming down this way. It's not an awful lot, but just a few mile an hour just coming across me. So uh, I'll have to just aim off a little bit for that. So I've got a couple of rabbits here, which are down by the hedgerow there. Now they're at 60 meters or just a little bit less, 58 to 60 meters. So I'm gonna see if I knock one of them over. lovely just smack them straight in the head just where I was aiming I had to aim just off a little bit probably about probably about four inches just for the wind there and um, both of those straight down okay I've got another one out here it's at 62 meters as well and I'll just ran for a little bit but then he went over the rest of them are run quite a bit back across the field now they're too far out of range and the one at the top here is 63 meters Right, 
right, so that's the uh, one that was 63 meters stone dead. And as you can see, nicely shot through the head. There's the black one. That's the one that ran a little distance, about 20 yards or so. The others. This is one of the two that was down by the hedge. And again, another headshot one. And the other one should be somewhere around here. Uh, that was a little dinker. A little dinky one, but. That just goes to show the accuracy of that rifle. Again, another headshot. And he was, as I say, he was at uh, 60 metres as well. And there's the last one. Again, another little youngster. Well, that's a dozen rabbits down this evening, uh, including a little black one there, which is quite unusual. We don't get too many of them down this way. Um, I was using the uh, Delta Wolf, as I said. That's a 177 air rifle, um, Pulsar C50 on there with the PBIR Mini, sports match mounts. Um, all the shots taken off the Recon tripod there from Scott Country. And of course I was using the Pulsar mergers with their rangefinder to uh, get the distances for those because um, some of those were quite long shots for a sub 12 foot pound air rifle. Um, in fact I think uh, most of them were, I think the closest ones were 30, 35 metres and the uh, further ones were, I think the furthest one was about 63 60, it's almost at 63 metres, about pushing 70 yards. So, as I say, for a sub 12 foot pound 177 air rifle, that's pretty good going. It just goes to show how accurate that rifle is. So, knowing the uh, the holdovers there, um, obviously, it's crucial, but um, yeah, the rifle's certainly up to it. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the episode, enjoyed the footage. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. If you aren't a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque. Looking after your sport, looking after you.